Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you a device that I put together to keep my phone cool during extended live streaming. Alright guys, over the past couple years, live streaming on social media sites like YouTube and Facebook, TikTok, has really taken off. And just about anything you're interested in doing, you can probably find somebody live streaming it these days. Now, the problem that we run into, especially during the summertime when the temperatures get hot, is our phones just can't keep up and they overheat. When they overheat, they shut down, you start having streaming issues and it could really cause you some problems. So what we're going to be doing today, I'm going to be showing you a device that I built to keep my phone cool while I'm live streaming. I'm gonna show you how I put it together and then we'll go through, I'll get the infrared thermometer out and we'll show you just how quickly it drops the temperature on the phone and it'll keep us live streaming on these hot summer days. All right guys, here's the materials list for today's project. Most of the hardware parts came from Menards the pump came from eBay and the Otter box I picked up at Walmart. Alright, we'll start out by cutting a piece of cardstock to the same dimensions as the soft area on the case. This is going to become the template for your water cooling jacket. Alright, next we're going to cut and remove the area of the case shown in green. And what I did was drill a hole in each corner and then cut it using an oscillating tool that made it fairly easy to do. For our third step, we're going to trace the outline of our template onto the piece of copper sheet. And then we will use a pair of sheet metal snips to cut out the template. And after cutting this out, I used a belt sander to smooth the edges and corners, give it a nice round shape. Step five, we'll place the copper sheet into the phone case and trace the outline of the hole of the case onto the copper sheet. And then what we're gonna do is take steel wool, use it on the copper sheet to prepare it for soldering. You don't have to go crazy, just scuff it up good. Get it all nice and shiny. Now we're gonna use a tubing bender to carefully bend the copper tubing. It should work its way across the copper sheet, entering and exiting on the same side. The tubing benders help keep it from kinking the tubing when you're making your bends. Use flux, solder, and a torch to solder the tubing to the copper sheet. I used a three pound hammer to hold the tubing in place during soldering. And now that our water jacket is complete, it's time to work on the cooling jug. Remove the lid from your water cooler and drill two half inch diameter holes through the lid, approximately an inch and a half apart. Insert the 1 8 inch by quarter inch male threaded hose barb into one of the holes. Use a wrench to thread the fitting all the way into the lid. Now you'll take your quarter inch by quarter inch female hose barb and attach that to the threads of the hose barb you just installed. Then using two wrenches, tighten it securely. Insert an eighth inch by quarter inch male hose barb into the remaining hole in your lid. This will allow water to return to the jug after it passes through the jacket. Connect the quarter inch vinyl tubing to the output of the pump. Cut a section of vinyl tubing long enough to reach the barb on the lid. Remove the drinking spout from the lid 
and enlarge the hole to allow the pump's USB connector to pass through. This will allow you to screw the lid on without twisting the wire. And now connect the vinyl tubing to the quarter inch hose barb at the bottom of the lid. Connect a 5 foot section of the 7 64th inch fuel line to each one of the hose barbs. You may have to use pliers to press the fuel line securely onto the barbs. Cut and remove the bottom segment from the back of the phone cover. Do not cut through the outer perimeter of the cover as it will no longer go onto the phone. Place the water jacket into the case as shown and insert your phone into the case. Regardless of what you're seeing, the water line should not be connected yet. Install the rubber case on the phone, passing the copper tubing out of the hole you cut in a previous step. Now you can connect your water lines to the copper tubing on the water jacket. It does not matter which tube each line is connected to. After filling the water cooler with water and ice, connect the pump to the USB power bank. Water will now pump through the jacket and back into the water reservoir. We started out at 87 degrees, but within a couple of minutes, the temperature on the phone had dropped to around 70. Ambient air temperature that day was in the mid 90s. Definitely a cooling effect going on. All right guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this week's video. I hope this video has helped you out. I hope it helps your live streams out and keeps you streaming during these hot summer months. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. And if you're checking me out for the first time, hit that subscribe and the little bell next to it. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video or go live. Guys, we'll be using this thing anytime we're out streaming during these hot summer months to keep the phone cool, keep our streams going good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Until next week, we'll catch you out on the water.